So do you know do you know anything about Screen Junkies and or Andy Signor? I have no idea. Well, I, I have a deep, rich history with Andy Signor that a lot of people have already heard, but fuck it, it's a let's play, so I'll just go through it all again. Uh, here's the abridged version of everything you need to know. Andy Signor founded Screen Junkies, a YouTube channel with like 5 million subscribers, and he created their flagship show, Honest Trailers. Have you seen Honest Trailers before? Uh, yeah. Anyway, he's doing great. You know, he's, he's hosting podcasts on there. He's like the face of the channel. And then the Me Too movement kicks in, and these uh, people are coming out saying, Oh, I was a fan, and, and he flirted with me, and we had consensual sex, but he was married, so he should be fired from his job. I'm thinking, um, hmm. Anyway, so Andy, he gets fired. All these people are, you know, the... Every news outlet online is publishing articles with his face and his name saying, And just ignore, huge monster rapist evil man. His life should be ended forever. Evidence? Who needs it? These women said it happened, and it must be true. You know what's you know what's hilarious about you bringing that up is that this is part of why I'm putting Andy Signore on the pathetic list because just last week Andy Signore posted a video saying PewDiePie you owe me an apology because evidently on Pew News when the Andy Signore thing came out PewDiePie did literally the exact opposite of what he did with Pro Jared and he and he just ran with it and, and told all of his fans yeah look at Andy Signore he's a he did all this shit. And so Andy puts up a video saying, PewDiePie, you canceled me, and now, now that the truth is out, PewDiePie, you should give me an apology. But really, I, I see right through this. Andy Signor is just fucking pissed that all his videos are now getting 1,200 views each. And he just wants the biggest YouTube channel to give him a fucking shout out and sympathy. PewDiePie doesn't owe you a fucking thing, dude. He was just reading the news. He didn't do anything wrong. He was reading the news. And now Andy Signore's like, he's like, PewDiePie, you, you owe me this. You, you fucking scumbag. You, you ruined my life, PewDiePie. He's like blaming all of it on PewDiePie just because he wants the guy to give him a shout out in a video. And it made me really sick. And that's just, that was just the tip of the iceberg in terms of pathetic content. And I'm a guy who makes a lot of pathetic content, so I know what I'm talking about in this field. Andy Signore's content these days, because uh, he started up, you know, he got, he got canceled and all that, fired from Screen Junkie, so he starts his own channel, Popcorn Planet, and he's just like, he, he makes uh, videos every single day of just him reading news articles about movies verbatim. It's just like, he'll, he'll read somebody else's article that they wrote, and then add like one line of commentary every paragraph and he'll do it until the video hits 10 minutes and one seconds and then he'll stop. <laughs> and that's pretty much his content these days. But, so sometimes he'll make drama videos like, you know, his, his the video of him uncanceling himself, which I really like that video. But then he'll have ones like the PewDiePie one. If you, as a man, if you ever sit down in front of a camera and beg somebody to apologize to you, that's top tier pathetic. Here, here's the thing from Andy Signore that really pushed me over the edge. He puts up a video that's like 35 minutes long and it says, in all caps, the title is, if you only watch one of my videos this month, watch this one. I'm thinking, oh, what the fuck? So I click on it. It has 45 ad breaks in it. And he says, hey everybody, uh, this isn't a real video. This is like a charity video. If you could just put this video on repeat with uh, with the uh, ad blocker off and just let the video play in the background all day with all the ads playing, it would really help me out a lot. <laughs> and he's planning on doing this every single month. So, so the charity is just to get him money. Yes! <laughs> yes! Unironically. Instead of making content that people want to watch and then like earning the ad revenue, he's just begging the fans that he has to have this fucking ad filled nothing of a video open in a tab so that he can make all the ad revenue <laughs> it's the saddest most pathetic thing i've ever seen on youtube and this is coming from a guy who made screen junkies he's made channels that have five million subs and he's resorting to this fucking shit i've never seen anything so fucking sad in my life 
here's the thing, folks. I'm a man who has been publicly humiliated. I've had sex tapes leaked. I've just all the horrible, most bad things you can imagine happening to a person. That's happened to me. And I'm still sitting here saying, Andy Signore is pathetic. 